Hi, honey. How you doing? I'm back from work. And guess what? I made a stop at the mailbox and I found something for you. Check it out. Look, oh, buddy. It's a package. See? It's red, too. Yeah, it's a ginger package, just like you. Yeah. Well, I know what you're probably thinking. Should we open it, buddy? Should we open the package up? Hmm? Okay, I'll take that as a yes. Hey, buddy. Check it out. It's open. Oh, oh let's see what it is. Ooh, check it out. Base paws. Isn't that cool? We're going to do a DNA test, buddy. We'll do a DNA test. You okay with that? I need your consent first. Is it okay, buddy? Hmm? Well, I'm assuming it is. The only issue with Cinnabon, the only problem with this is that it may link you to a crime scene if they have your DNA on file. So keep that in mind before we send the results in. But how cool is that? Check it out from Base Paws. Cat kit. Oh, that's cool. CK, the world's first at home cat genetics test. So we will see where Cinnabon is actually from. And a lot of people have been asking for years, what breed is Cinnabon? Initially, I thought, and he's still probably, maybe, we'll find out, right? Who cares what I say? Yeah, we don't know. We don't know what you are. No, a lot of people say Maine Coon, part Maine Coon, not full because he's not that heavy. Or possibly part Norwegian forest cat. You got to burn your tail. Yeah, we don't know what he is, but we'll find out soon. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to administer the test. We got to burn your back. Got it. The vet said domestic long hair. Ah, that must be it, huh? Because he's about 10 pounds, so he's not huge. He's not that tiny either. He's kind of a medium-sized cat. So let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open and see what it's about. Okay, there's some instructions here. So obviously you got to read the instructions for animal use only. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that would be weird. What if I submitted my DNA? What would happen, buddy? They'd be like, oh, you got a rare, the most rarest of breeds of them all, and the biggest too. Let's see if we're animal. Okay, that's good to know. So I'm going to go ahead and read the instructions. And then I'll report back to tell you what it says. Pretty simple instructions, really. The hardest part's going to be this. Collect the sample, swap the cheek pouch. And that's kind of funny, cheek pouch. For five seconds to collect saliva. I'll get to go far worse places. He might go under a little bit of a period of distress while I do that. So if he does, well, either way, when we're done with this process, we will reward him with treats. Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to go ahead and pack this bad boy up. So it mails out tomorrow so we can get results as fast as possible, which you'll see later in this video. Yeah. So you don't have to wait at all. I do. <laughs> or we do. Cinnamon's grooming himself for the occasion. He wants the DNA test to come back that he's a clean kitty, but he don't know that don't matter because the DNA, you can't clean that up at all. Cinnabon, hey buddy, it is time. Look, it's time. Hey, we got to do it now so I don't contaminate the sample. Okay, buddy? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and Go ahead and do it now. I'm not going to enjoy this. I'm sure he won't either. But hey, we got to know where he's from. Is that curious, right? I'm sure you are too. We're curious kitties, huh? That wasn't so bad, was it, buddy? That wasn't so bad at all. No, I felt really bad doing it, but I don't think he... He didn't really freak out at all. It was actually pretty easy. Yeah, he's probably like, what the heck is this for? Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. But hey, you were being such a good boy the whole time. Check it out. We put the specimen in the biohazard bag. That's a cool logo, eh? It's all in there, buddy. Now we just got to put it in the mailbox, okay? And then we got to wait and see what you is. Yeah. So this box comes with the prepaid label. It's already on there, so they make it super simple. You don't have to really you know, dick around at the post office or anything like that. You can just put it in the mailbox, and you're good to go, or drop it off at one of those blue things. Yeah. So now it's time to tell me if you have any criminal history or something that might come up. As far as DNA goes, you should let me know so I can get your little kitty lawyers on the line before they find out, okay? <laughs> just kidding. Hey, buddy, look, it's sealed now, brother. Mm -hmm. Now we just got to drop it off. Yeah, pretty easy, huh? Pretty easy, I would say. Yeah. Uh huh. I know. Okay, we'll give you some treats, okay, buddy? We'll go ahead and give you some treats. Hey, Cinnabon, where'd you go, buddy? Are you downstairs? I think I see you. I brought treats with me because you're such a good kitty. Let me do that. Yeah. Oh, look, buddy. Hey, I know you want to play, but first I got some treats for being such a good boy. Here. Yeah. Oh, what a good kitty. Yeah. Here's another one. I'm really curious to see where Cinnabon's from. Another cool thing with that DNA test is it will let you know if your cat has some issues later on in life. Like it'll tell you that some genetic, what do they call it? Markers or indicators of any potential health issues to be on the lookout in the future. So that's another good thing. Not only will you know what kind of kitty you have, you will know what potential issues they may have and for what you should keep an eye on. So that's pretty cool too, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Assuming, hopefully you don't have any genetic problems, but we shall see. It's funny, I've never had a DNA test myself, but Cinnamon will. Oh, you want to get to go to the bathroom? Okay. Okay, so the cutest thing just happened. Cinnamon is grooming himself. 
while I was laying on top of my chest and I saw something in his leg. I'll show you what I found. See that? It's like a nasty thorn that was in his foot. And I saw the outside of it, like the long edge. I'm like, what the heck is this? So I pulled it out of his little foot and then, and then he licked me in my cheek. Yeah, buddy. So I think you knew what I did. Yeah, I, I think you were just appreciative that I pulled that out of your leg. So he's never done that before. He like licked my cheek like three or four times. So I think he knew that I pulled that out of his leg and that he appreciated that. I thought that was kind of cute. Yeah, what a cute little kitty. Yeah, I guess I think they, they know more than we think they do. You're registered now, buddy. Yeah, ain't no going back. No, no, no. Yeah, they're going to find you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. They'll find you, then they'll find the bodies. All those little mice and birds. And who knows what else, squirrels, chipmunks. Yes, you will have your day in court, I'm afraid. <laughs> Just teasing. So, the results are in, and Cinnabon, you are not the father. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hey. He's wondering, what do you have in your hand? Well, guess what? I have the DNA results. Isn't that cool, buddy? Yeah, we know where you're from now. Ain't no question, man. We got it down to the points on the percentages. That's pretty cool. The information was presented to me online in such a cool fashion, I thought it would be really cool to turn it into a little book. I have a little spiral binding machine, or a big spiral binding machine relative to Cinnabon size. Uh-huh, yeah, it's about the size of you, isn't it? Pretty cool. Since I have all the stuff to make a spiral bound book, I might as well do that, because you know how cool that's going to look when it's done. We punched the paper and ran the coil through it, and now we just got to crimp the ends. Absolutely beautiful. We can go through it together, yeah. There's some stuff in there about Cinnabon's genetic things, that things that may be of concern in the future. But out of all those things, there's only one that's a slight possibility. So his genetic health is excellent, which is cool. So Cinnabon, from a genetic standpoint, is a pretty darn healthy cat, huh? I know you want to go outside, buddy, but I want to show you the results. Come on, let's go. Let's go downstairs. Come on, come on. Let's go on the couch and we'll check out what will be story time, okay? Story time about your DNA. I must say, I was really, really surprised with the results. I was. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's go over here. Come on. Let's go. Come here, buddy. There's plenty of room for both of us on this couch. And the book. Come here. There he is. Want to go over the book with me? He's probably like, what you doing? Are you going to have that talk? No. I just want to go through your DNA results. Come on, buddy. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's read about your DNA. Yeah, check it out. Thank you. Yeah. We'll let him settle down for a bit, and then we'll crack the book open. <laughs> I think he's comfortable now. Okay, here we go. Cinnabon's DNA results. And I'm not going to read everything because there's a lot of information in there. And I don't want to spoil it for when you have your test done, if you want to do that. I put a link in the description if you want to check out Base Paws and have your very own cat or cat's DNA tested. It's pretty cool. But basically, they go through here and give you a good history of cats and the role in the lives of humans, <laughs> or our role in the lives of cats, rather. I talk about the different breed analysis, so we'll just do a quick, dirty one. So Western cat breeds, you can see the list down there with the percentages. Cinema has a lot of Eastern. Yeah, don't you, buddy? You're a little Eastern kitty, a little Russian cat? <laughs> yeah, I think you are. And some Persian, too. And exotic. You're an exotic kitty, buddy. Uh huh. And a poly cat. My understanding of that's mixed breeds. The closest wild cat Cinnamon's most closely related to. Yeah. In this reality, Cinnamon's DNA most closely resembles a cougar. Health Markers talks about that. That's a good thing to know, as I mentioned before. Cinnabon is pretty much clear on all of these. He is a carrier of something, but we can't show everything, buddy, because the HIPAA records as it relates to cats. So why don't we skip down to the coolest part, which talks about what Cinnabon is. Yeah, I think he's that interested. No. That's okay. This is this is a human adult talk here, so Cinnabon probably doesn't care what he is. <laughs> so we all know he's a very unique cat as all cats are, as all people are. All right, here we go. So, 
Cinnabon is 5% American Ragdoll, which is really, really cool. You're part of a Ragdoll cat, buddy. <laughs> yeah. So I thought that's interesting. There's a woman at my work that has Ragdoll cats, and they're super fluffy. And it's really cool, too. It gives you the personality. Calm, docile, lap cat. Cinnabon, I would say, yeah, these are pretty... He's not the most calm cat, but he... Yeah, I'd say he's not very calm. <laughs> he can be, though. So 5% Ragdoll. The next I was surprised about, Russian Blue. Even before I had cats, I always thought Russian Blues were really cute. And he is 3% Russian Blue. Curious, yes, social, for the most part. Intelligent. Are you intelligent, buddy? <laughs> yeah, he, I think I would say he is. The size is about right. Cinnamon's at 10 pounds, so right in the middle there. And Russia. You're a Russian cat, buddy, which is cool because we got a lot of Russian stuff in this house. Yeah. Even right behind me, we have the Russian RPG and stamps of Kalashnikov. All right. Everyone said Cinnabon was a Norwegian forest cat and also, and or, a Maine Coon. And guess what? 0% Norwegian forest cat. I could not believe that. I was super convinced he was because he's a fluffy guy, which is really interesting. So next up, look, buddy. Come here, look. You're 7.1% Siberian. Yeah, you're you're like 10% total Russian, buddy. Yeah. Is that Kira Cabinet freaking you out? There's some Russian stuff in there. And that shelf. <laughs> so pretty cool. So you can see Siberian forest cat. Oh, so you're not a Norwegian forest cat. You're a Siberian forest cat. How cool is that? I think he's lost interest, but we'll continue. American short hair, 7.7%. Makes sense because I've seen cats with a lot longer hair than he has. He probably gets his longer hair from the Siberian stuff, I'm assuming. These are extremely common in America. Of course, that's where we are. And... <laughs> Maine Coon, 0%. Cinnabon, you're not any part of a Maine Coon. But he doesn't like water, but he kind of has a little bit of the fur, so that's pretty cool. Cinnabon, you're not a Maine Coon, buddy. I thought you were, or at least partially, not full, because he's not that heavy. I'm going to butcher this. Obesian? Asia? He has quite a bit of Asian in him, too. Look at the ears in this thing. 6.4%. Active, intelligent, mischievous. Cinnabon's not really mischievous at all, which is interesting. He is, I would say, intelligent as before, and he's fairly active. Turkish van? I'm not sure what that is. That would be, I guess, technically a uh, Ford Transit. They're made in Turkey, and they're sort of a van. Cinnabon, 0% <laughs> of Turkish van. Turkish Angora? He's 0% Turkish. So Cinnabon, I don't think you're Turkish. He's also not Persian. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh, my goodness. 0% Persian. So Cinnabon, sorry, you're not Persian at all. Exotic short hair. Cinnamon, I'm sorry you're not exotic and you're not short hair. <laughs> Ooh, British short hair. Cinnabon, you're a little bit British. Look at that cat. That's a chonker. Oh, that looks like the I Can Has Cheeseburger cat. 3% British short hair. Himalayan cat. What a cool looking cat. 0%. This one's interesting too. Oriental short hair. 1.3%. Look at that. It's almost like a dog. Interesting looking cat. 1.3%. <gasps> Peter Ball. Ooh. I mean, not my favorite type of cat, I guess. These are the ones that don't have any fur, I think, too. Or this one looks like it has a little bit of fur. 0%, not surprised there. And Cinnabon is related to a python. Just kidding. 5% Burmese. That is cool. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right. Burmese, like Burmese python. Burma, which is now Myanmar. Myanmar? Attention seeking. Yep. And playful, which he is, which is cool, 5%. Ooh, Burman, 1.5%. Okay, that's the other country I'm thinking. Sacred Cat of Burma, that makes sense, so Burma became the Myanmar. Docile, patient, affectionate. I can see some of those. That's cute, Siamese cats are adorable too, 1.4%. He is 3.7% Thai Siamese, <laughs> which is also called Thailand. Cinnabon has some Asian in him. 0% Bengal, not surprised, he doesn't have those crazy cat patterns like Bengals have. He is 0% Savannah cat. What a cool cat. I've seen videos of these things. Pretty neat. And last but not least, Cinnabon is 0.6% Egyptian Mao, I'm assuming, which is really cool. Cinnabon, you're part of an Egyptian. He's an Egyptian kitty. And that wraps it up. That's the back cover. So how cool is that? I was super surprised that he wasn't Maine Coon or Norwegian Forest cat. But it's quite awesome to look at this. There's another page I want to show you before I end. For your reference, these are all the feline breeds that are considered in this report. Cinnabon's mostly Western, as you can see. And a little bit.
bit exotic. And look at that. That's cool how they break it down, isn't it? That's really interesting. Maybe one of these days, Cinnamon's dad will have a DNA test. Well, thank you everybody for watching. I think this was one of the coolest videos because I have been wondering for years what kind of a kitty Cinnabon is, and now we know. We know a lot. Yeah, we skipped asking a lot of people. We just went right for the DNA test, which is cool. So as I mentioned before, check out the link in the description if you want your own kitty's DNA test. Yeah, they're really interesting. So are you surprised too about his results? Hmm? I figured he was a mix. Most cats are. In fact, in that book, it talks about how cats were really, for the most part, not deliberately bred like dogs were. They just happened. And the biggest reason people love cats initially is because they take care of a lot of rodents and pests and things we don't like to deal with. And Cinnabon's an expert terror for those types of little animals. So thank you again, everyone, for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. All right, we'll let you out. It's freezing outside. Crazy kitty. It's definitely a Russian inside him, I think.